One of the solutions we can we can also try to do to solve the problem of the yellow triangle unidentified network or limited internet access is that we will have to make sure that all the drivers have been installed. So all that we'll have to do, we go to the search loop and we type device manager. We will open it. So as you can see, the device manager has opened. So we'll go and check networks or network adapters. We'll click on this arrow. Here we have all the all the drivers for all the devices. So all of them have been installed. If we saw the same small yellow triangle next to one of these, it means that there is no driver installed and then we will have to install it. But in my case, everything is installed. However, if you find any driver missing or identified as unknown device, then I will suggest to you to click on that unknown device with the right button of the mouse. You can click on properties and from there you will click on drivers or you can go to details and from details you will check for compatible IDS we can go just to hardware IDS as you can see property hardware IDS and we can just copy or type this this value into our browser but first make sure that you connect an internet cable if it works if the only the Wi-Fi which is not working then you can just plug a cable to your computer and try to look and install the driver accordingly otherwise you can use another computer to download the tool co called pack driver and the tool will be able to help you to solve the problem so let's go step by step so now we know our drivers which are missing so we can just close this if any driving is missing we we'll just close it and we will just in your case you will just plug your internet cable so after plugging plugging your internet cable, internet cable, we'll just go to your browser and you will type driver pack space solution. We'll look for driver pack solution. We'll click driver pack solution download free and we will install all required drivers. We'll just click on it. We'll save the file. As soon as the file is downloaded, we will just execute the file or the software run you will we will have to wait just a few seconds up to one minutes and the, the software will be working accordingly we'll close our browser You will have to wait up to maximum one minute so that your software recognizes the drivers and check for online updates. As you can see, the software is showing the application. We are checking, we are analyzing, we are generating the driver's installation order. So within this software, you will have just to go to expert mode and from here before installing all drivers I will just go to software I will uncheck all of these softwares because I don't need them to be installed because the system will try to install them automatically for me and I will make sure to untick from protection and cleanup so that the software doesn't disinstall any application I will just select also this one to not be installed and then I will go back I will just confirm and go back to drivers and now I can do the installation why I deselected these items? I do not want this software to install any browsers or any antivirus and I do not want this software to install any application which I have which I have installed personally. So we'll go back to drivers. You will click install and as soon as we have clicked install all the drivers will be installed and then the operation is done. And if this still after a restart, if this still didn't solve the issue, then you can go to the third solution which is resetting your router which we will see in the next video.